Welcome to the Kappa Market. Cheesy, fatty. Sure there is waste there. Wow. Mm. He threw like a large chunk of lard in there with it. <laughs> I hope not. Just as good as I hoped. Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're a little American family living out our dream of life abroad and currently called Germany our home. In our past video, we took you on a tour around Palermo, the capital of Sicily. We noticed a lot of cultural differences and were surprised to see how different things were compared to Germany and the US. In this video, we are focusing on one of our favorite parts of travel, food. From arancini, a rice bowl that is stuffed, coated with breadcrumbs and deep fried, to cannoli, a world famous sweet snack, and many other foods, we experience quite possibly the best street food you can find. We take you with us for each bite and thoroughly answer the question, what is traditional Sicilian street food? Hey everybody, today's video we are exploring the streets of Palermo in Sicily. Could not be more excited. Yeah, we're about to go dive into some real amazing food here in Sicily. This is our first morning in the city of Palermo and we have heard nothing but amazing things. We just made it to the entrance of the market and we've already seen guys throwing ice over the seafood and just a lot of excitement. The flavors, sounds, smells here in Palermo are already really exciting. You say hi. Say ciao. We could not be more excited to try authentic Sicilian street food. So there are too many things to even know what to get right now, but I saw some ceviche and I'm definitely going to get some because I've been craving that. Uh, oh, here. Uh, here. Some fresh pomegranate juice. It comes with a heavy punch, three euros for it, but we saw him smash it right there as fresh as can be. Willa wants some, so we're gonna get her some. Okay, now I'm gonna try here. Well, <laughs> not all of it's juice, apparently. Hope you dropped it. Nope, not all of it is juice. Ooh, I've never had pomegranate juice. It is very, ooh, kind of tart. It's really good. Willa loved it, apparently. No, 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 watch Do you want some? This is dangerous practice, everybody. Don't try this out. Okay, Daddy's turn. You know, it doesn't really smell very strong. Ooh, wow. But that like almost makes your tongue numb as soon as like you uh, it has like a film all over it. That's really good though. It's only about 11 a.m. and I'm needing to take off my jacket, which is the best feeling ever. <laughs> Basking in the sun glory, and I might even be wishing I had worn my short sleeve shirt. We'll see. But either way, happy it's warm. That's called bitter. Do you want some of this? Um, take it. Hey, there's a surprise inside. So we're really excited for these. This is called a arancina or arancine, depending on which part of Sicily that you're from. We aren't sure what this is filled with, but we've heard that cheese, meat, or sometimes just vegetables. So uh, pretty excited about that. Can't promise Willa that it has any chicken honey, but we'll keep trying. N meanwhile, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> What is it, Willa? Meanwhile, this is a panini panele that Willa has uh, taken apart. So these are primarily made of chickpea flour and they're fried. Looks like they got some other herbs mixed in with them. And then it's served on top of a bread or a panini of some sorts. And then this one has 
fried potatoes with the same kind of herbs and stuff mixed into it. A local was really nice to help us explain in English a little bit more about them. Um, and so these feel really soft, really tasty. We'll give them a whirl here. So the panini panele has a really great first flavor. That lemon adds a lot of zest to it. And I'm quite surprised that it's not as crunchy as I was expecting. The fried chickpeas are not as crunchy, but it's like a really good texture. It's still soft enough. I haven't quite gotten into the potato to give that a try. That is a nice flavor. It's not like just like those mini potatoes. It's just a really nice pureed potato ball that's been fried. And that texture with the bread is really good. Got some sesame seeds on top. There's lots of people around, huh? And motorcycles, and it's crowded streets here, but it's really fun. We love the environment. This, to me, just looks like a whole big gluten goodness sandwich. I've heard that this is really one of the most common things. So if there was a color to define street food, I mean, look at it. We are experiencing all yellow right here. So I think we found a common theme. They tend to like their stuff fried here. Honestly, it's fairly bland in flavor. I hate to say it, it's good. There's a bit of parsley mixed in with the chickpea flour and the fried balls, which I like. It's a nice bite like Tanner was saying. The sesame seeds do add a good crunch. Other than that, the texture is fairly soft and just chewy. I need to get more lemon sprinkled on mine. I think that would really add to the flavor. Mm -hmm. The lemon really adds to the dish. I feel like without it, it's a little bland, but with it, it's much better. My preference is that I like foods to be very flavorful, and this is a very simple dish. Not bad, just simple. I'm gonna hold it. That is a heavy bowl. It looks like there's gotta be cheese mixed into this. It is pure yellow. You can see the rice inside. Mm, smells nice and savory. That just is un That was a nice bite. I wasn't expecting that to taste that good. Honestly, I think this is much better than the sandwich that we had. It just has more flavor with it. Cheesy, fatty <laughs> rice and meat, and it looks like some green peas in there. I'm going in for another bite. Mm. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a fan of this one. It's hearty though. It's heavy. This is be something that Tanner and I could share. Since we're along the coast, of course we're trying to take advantage of getting some fresh ceviche. I chose one that we're going to give a try. Willa has actually already started on it because she really wanted to have some shrimp. We saw lots of shrimp, saw lots of squid, swordfish, and tons of other fish that were just out for display and people were buying them. So because we're not located close to the ocean, we're going to take advantage of the seafood while we can. This ceviche has tiny shrimp. It looks like it has some squid and it has potatoes, olives, and cilantro, and tomatoes. It's been a long time since I've had ceviche, and I really do love seafood, so I can't wait to see what this tastes like. Nice and cold, a little bit chewy as expected, but still really fresh seafood taste. I'm gonna go for some of the shrimp. Yeah, that is nice. Very soft, very well marinated, nice flavor. Like that a lot. Where'd he go, huh? This is sardines. No, 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 we are not there. Do you want some of your bread? Yeah. Willa's got some bread, a fresh bread from the bakery, and we stopped and got ourselves a little sardine roll. It's just fried and stuffed with some other deliciousness. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, pretty excited to give this a whirl. We were looking for a gato that was just here a couple minutes ago, and they all don't seem to like be touched by kids because they ran away. <laughs> this is really good. I was really happy to hear. It. Oh, yeah, the gatos are right there. Hi, I got you. Yeah, they're they're saying hi. Gato, <laughs> Yeah, we got to we have to stay up here. Gato, 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 gato. They're uh, a little feisty and territorial here, I guess. Okay, let's go. Let's go watch them. Huh? As I was saying, this is a very good sardine bite. I honestly was expecting it to be a really strong flavor, but it's nice. It's crunchy. It's got a breading on the outside, and then 
you know, even with a little bit of the tail that was crunchy in there, it was still, it's fried enough that it was, it went down pretty easily. And honestly, I love seafood. I wish I had more of it in our diet, but it's just so hard because I don't feel like it's the same thing if it's not fresh. So I can definitely tell that this is a more of a fresh seafood and I quite enjoyed it. Good as we sit. Okay. Go. I got you. Gracias. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Una chingüanta. Wow. So it's always funny when people don't speak any English at all, but I speak enough Spanish, which is close enough to some Italian, that it kind of gets all mixed up, and we kind of get to the agreement at the end. So this is Sfiancione. I probably slaughtered that as well, but I'll put the name of it down there. But this is like a focaccia bread with tomato sauce, tomatoes, and onions, and they sprinkled some olive oil, oregano, and some other spices on top. It's not to be confused with pizza because it's different, but I'm really excited about this. They heated it up right in front of us. We're gonna give it a good bite here. Nice. Yeah, like it's a really nice soft focaccia bread. And it's really good with that olive oil. I can taste just like so oily. Right now I've had probably more fried foods than I've had an entire week sometimes, but that's just kind of the typical Sicilian street food vibe that we're getting here. And I really enjoy this one. Probably the most after that arancina, that fried rice ball. I really enjoyed this one quite a bit. So if you saw, they had it all in one piece of bread, but then they cut it up for us and they said, right now, you have to eat it right now, so. Mm-hmm. They definitely added some salt on top. Very nice. So you got a good crunch from the bottom layer that got toasted. And then the rest of it, you just bite through. It is very chewy. Oh, fluffy. Mm, that salt on the top just finishes it out. Yeah. Very nice. Willis had it with people. She keeps saying people, people. <laughs> Too many people here, I guess, but this is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so for the last part of the street food tour in Palermo, we've gone for probably the most daunting and intimidating one of them all, the Panico Muesa. This little guy here, this is chopped veal lung and spleen. The guy started to throw it in the pan, he threw like a large chunk of lard in there with it. And so I'm imagining that's just to give it enough flavor so that it tastes fairly good. <laughs> Because we've had liver before and heart, but I don't know if I've ever had spleen and I don't think I've ever had lung before. So this is kind of a first for me. Um, either way, it was in some lard that he fried it in. And then the bun has sesame on top. It looks like it's nicely baked. And then he threw some salt and some lemon on top. So um, I can imagine it's really good, but it's, it's kind of one of those things that it's a little out there for me. But nonetheless, I'm still excited to give it a try. That was a big bite of bread. Honestly, I'm very impressed, but I can definitely tell there's a reason why there's so much lard in here. It was because it has to give something to give flavor to it. I'm gonna give it another try. The lemon and salt really make this quite enjoyable. I don't think that I would get it if it didn't have it on top, and for that reason, I'm sure that's why they do it, but seriously, this has got a lot of potential here. I would have been convinced if you had told me this is just normal meat rather than the lung and spleen, so. It's definitely not something that I would get every single time, but nonetheless, this was still really fun. The street food tour was full of lots of different flavors, sights and sounds, but a lot of fats, oils going around. So for the rest of the meals today, I'm probably gonna look to get some water, some fruit, maybe a little less fatty and oily foods because that was quite a bit, but still a very delicious time that we've had here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How can, can you I hold help? that one? <laughs> you got it? Okay. <laughs> Did you get some gristle? Some artery linings? It tastes like a big piece of fat. You got but a little bit. But I think bit. it's just the texture. I think you got a big piece of fat because everything that I have is really soft. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. It's nice. You've got a lot of fun textures going around. So the bread is toasted. You get the sesame seeds on. It gives it a nice crunch. The meat itself is actually smoother than I thought. And I think that was why it was like a weird take me back a little bit is because I've never had 
lung and spleen together, especially sauteed, cooked on a sandwich. So this is fun. The spleen is like more of a chewier, um, a harder organ meat to bite into. It's chewier. And then the lung was like, yeah, very easy to bite into. So an interesting play on textures. Flavor wise, really good. I like the salt with the lemon. Oh, I think that is such a great mixture. And then with the Parmesan cheese, the savory flavor from the meat, really good. Do I have some left over on my face, Willa? The one thing we're missing here is a cannoli. I have been keeping my eye out, and surprisingly, I'm surprised. I thought they were gonna be all over here, but I haven't seen one, and we even went into a bakery where we got Willis bread. No cannoli, I asked her where. She wasn't about to tell me, so. Where is it? Hopefully is soon, because although I'm not hungry, I have been craving one. The last time we were in Italy down on the Amalfi Coast was the last time I really had a cannoli, so it's been years. Tanner came in clutch. Mm -hmm. Just as good as I hoped. We'll be back for more. It's a good thing we're gonna be here for four nights. That filling, perfect amount of sweetness, crunchy outside, powdered sugar on top, small chocolate chips inside. It's so good. I thoroughly enjoyed that cannoli. After getting it, we continue to walk down the street on Via Marqueta. This is a very, very popular street. You can see here, there's people all around me, people sitting down eating, people walking past me. They are going to explore this street. This is a street you wanna come walk down at really any time of the day. The difference between here and the Capa Market is that this area just has a ton of different restaurants, sit down areas, whereas the Capa Market are food stalls. Both options though have traditional Palermo street food, so be sure to check out them both. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you ever make your way to Sicily, let us know down in the comments. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next video. Hola, chica. Boo.